Quarter 2, Module 3, Lesson 1, Formation of Ions. Atoms have no electric charge because they maintain an equal number of protons, positively charged subatomic particles, and electrons, subatomic particles with a negative charge. Atoms become ions if they gain or lose electrons. Ionization is the process by which ions are formed by gaining or losing of an electron from an atom or molecule. When a neutral atom loses one or more electrons, there will be more protons. The result is a positively charged ion or cation. When a neutrally charged atom gains electrons, there will be more electrons than the number of protons. This type of ion is known as an ion. Metals always form positive ions or cations. They tend to lose electrons. Metals in group 1 tend to lose one electron. Metals in group 2 tend to lose two electrons. We will skip the transition metals because they form cations with a variety of different charges. Example, possible charges of iron, iron can lose 2 or 3 electrons. Metals in group 13 always lose 3 electrons. Non-metals tend to gain electrons and they form negative ions or anions. Non-metals in group 15 can gain 3 electrons. Group 16, they tend to gain 2 electrons. In group 17, they tend to gain 1 electron. Octet rule refers to the tendency of atoms to prefer to have 8 valence electrons in the valence shell. A stable arrangement is attended when the atom is surrounded by 8 electrons. Therefore, the atom becomes stable if they have 8 valence electrons. When atoms have fewer than 8 valence electrons, they tend to react and form more stable compounds.
double gases in group 18 have the most stable configuration. Double gases have the full octet or 8 valence electrons. They have no reason to react with other atoms. An exception to an octet of electrons is in the case of the first noble gas, helium, which only has two valence electrons, duet rule. The duet rule states that hydrogen and helium may have no more than two electrons in their valence shells. So helium and hydrogen are happy or stable with two valence electrons. Here are the element charges. Elements in group 1 will lose one electron and become positive one ions. Elements in group 2 will lose two electrons and become positive two ions. The elements in group 13 will lose 3 electrons and become positive 3 ions. The elements in group 14 can either lose or gain 4 electrons and become positive 4 ions or negative 4 ions. The elements in group 15 will gain 3 electrons and become negative 3 ions. The elements in group 16 will receive 2 electrons and become negative 2 ions. The elements in group 17 will gain 1 electron and become negative 1 ions. Remember, atom has no charge because the number of protons is equal to its number of electrons. Upon losing an electron, there will be more protons so it will become positive ion called Ion. Upon gaining an electron, there will be more electrons than the number of protons and become a negative ion called an ion. Metals tend to lose electrons while nonmetals tend to gain electrons to complete 8 valence electrons to become stable. Let's check your understanding. 